Hey folks, Solo Gamer here. I'm going to do a review of a game that we played through. It's called Gears of War. Um, <clears throat> I never played the video games of Gears of War. Uh, I was basically looking for a game that could be replicate the experience of the Doom board game. Because uh, the Doom board game is no longer in print and it's very expensive to get a hold of. And this game basically is the modern... I uh, incarnation of it according to what a lot of people say and the game got a lot of good reviews I mean a lot of people were raving about it saying it was a good game um, it's made by fantasy flight so you know usually they put out good quality games or at least you know you're gonna get components that are good as you saw through my playthroughs I did not play this game very well I don't know what it was <clears throat> Um, this game just didn't click with me for whatever reason. I played terrible, uh, uh, I mean badly, and I don't know what it was, it just, I didn't have fun playing it, I just, it just didn't click. Um, despite all the good reviews it's got. So I'm trying to figure out what went wrong or what did I do wrong or or just whatever I mean if you break it down the components on this game are great it definitely you know gets a good two thumbs up components wise um, the theme about it is pretty good it definitely gets two thumbs up on the theme for me I mean it really feels like you're fighting the horde um, but then I have to give it two thumbs down uh, on the, I guess, the web support or support for this game because this game is a dead game. Uh, this game is a couple years old. Fantasy Flight has not supported it. They've not come out with anything but a, a little print-on-demand expansion pack for it. Who owns this game and who has the rights is up in the air right now. I'm sure eventually one day, you know, Gears of War, a, a new one will come out, and the, the video game, and they may do something with it. But this game is basically right now a dead game. And um, I don't really like dead games. And if I do like a dead game or get a dead game, it has to be really good. And to me, this just wasn't really good. So I'm going to have to give it two thumbs down on that part. And now on the rules. Okay, I gave it one thumbs up on the rules because... Um, some of the scenarios kind of just, I don't know, the rules were a little ticky-tacky. Some of the scenarios weren't as good as uh, I liked them to be, or, or some of the explanations for how to do this and how to do that, I don't know, I just didn't, some of it I had to read a couple times, and I don't like having to do that. And now, the big bugaboo to me is the mechanics, the gameplay. And I'm going to give it one thumbs up on that. So I basically gave this game a 6 out of 10. And let me talk about the gameplay, which was the biggest bugaboo for me besides this being a dead game. I knew going in it was a dead game, but I thought, well, you know, this game would be a hell of a lot, you know, pretty damn good, and so I won't mind. Um, <clears throat> as I said before, I don't know what was going on. Maybe I just didn't understand the game. Maybe I just didn't play it right. You get a whole deck of these order cards. A whole deck of them. And um, for the AI, for the monsters. But you only use like four or five of them per scenario. And then on the other scenarios, you use a couple of the same other ones. And so you're just constantly going through the same five or six cards for the AI. And it just, it gets old. I, I did not... I thought, I think that was the biggest bugaboo for me on that. I expected a lot better on that. I thought, you know, dang, you got a whole big stack of AI cards. Um, you know, who knows what can happen. But you end up using only the same ones, and then a lot of them you have to draw another AI card after you go through that one. So it's constantly doing that, and I didn't like that. I'm sorry, I just didn't. I know I'm going to probably take a lot of flack for this, because this game is very popular. A lot of people say it's a great game. And you know, it's each their own. And if you really like Gears of War, then I would get this game 
just with the caveat knowing that this game right now is dead, it's not being supported. But if you're looking for a better or different type game of the same vein as this and Doom, I would probably go more along lines of Level 7 Omega Protocol. It's got that same science fiction-y horror theme to it, and I just like Level 7 Omega Protocol a lot better than this game. And maybe that's one of the problems. Um, I played Level 7 Omega Protocol before I played this, and, you know, that's, you know, maybe that's just another one of the problems. Um, so, I'm not a big fan of this board game, Gears of War. Like I said, components for it, great. Um, <clears throat> the theme, great. But then it comes down to, you know, the gameplay and the web support. And I think it just falters there. So that's my take on Gears of War. Um, if you got any opinions about it, let me know. I even take good criticism. And if you saw my playthroughs and you said, well, you played like shit. Well, yeah, I probably did play like crap. And, you know, there was just, for whatever reason, this game didn't connect with me. And if you see me on my playthroughs on my other games, you see that I've connected with those games. I may do a horrible job, but you can tell I'm having fun. And then I, I, I lose a lot, but I win some. This one right here, I just felt totally, you know, that I just did a terrible job on this, and this game just didn't click with me. So that's my review of Gears of War. This is Solo Gamer saying see you next time.